Oh, perfect. I need to talk to you. I, I am late for dinner with Robin, but I need, I need a minute of your time. What's this about? Robin's Valentine's Day present. I have a huge surprise for her, and I would love it if, if I you would could... babysit Emma. You know, I wish you would give me time to clear my schedule. The mayor doesn't like it when I duck out on a homicide to go play tea party. Oh, Max, that's adorable. No, I don't need you to babysit, but I want you to come over whenever you can and just enjoy Robin's surprise with us. Am I supposed to guess? No, you can try, but you ain't gonna do it. Patrick, hold yeah. on. Stop. Okay. Since you're supposed to be at a meeting with Robin, huh. and I'm supposed to be at an interview, why don't you just tell me? It's a surprise, Mac, and we want to keep it that way. We? Does that mean Emma's in on it? Oh my God, is she in it? She's loving it. She's trying to keep the secret so bad, I think she's going to explode. Luckily, it's tomorrow, because I don't think she has much longer. Okay, so what do you need from me? I want to have a family dinner party Sunday night, so that means all of us and Matt and Maxie. I need you to make sure that Maxie gets there. I don't know. Maxie's been ducking me for weeks. Come on, you can do this. You have no idea what I have to do to make this happen. Are you sure you want Maxie there for Robin, not your brother? Matt, are you kidding me? Stay out of that relationship. You should too, trust me. Well, you know, I don't think Matt really appreciates Maxie. Not that I've said anything and not that she would listen to me. Robin never did when I told her the same thing about you. That's very nice of you. Can we not do that on Sunday? Why such a big fuss about a family dinner? We've been through a lot. Robin's HIV scare and everything, and I just, I don't want to take things for granted anymore. We got to spend time together, you know? It's important. Well, I've been telling the girls that for years. Right, that's what I'm saying. So we can make this a, an appreciation for Robin dinner party. I am really glad you're finally learning to appreciate my niece. She's the most amazing woman in the world. Oh yeah, that she is. Don't you forget it. I won't. The ER is fully stacked. Is there a reason why I'm being called away from dinner with my wife? The attending said you were the surgeon on the case. What? What happened? I came in and found him collapsed on the floor. Is he unconscious? I don't, I don't know how long he was out for. Do you remember what happened before he fell, Jason? Um, I, I was standing at the terrace doors. And what? And I, I, don't, I don't remember anything. Okay, well, there's no obvious sign of head trauma. Is there anything else you experienced before falling? No, not, not, not that I can think of. And this is the second time you've blacked out. Is there anything else you're not telling me, Jason? No. No, I'm fine right no, now. No, you're not I'm... fine. You've blacked out twice. Well, well, then what's wrong? Maybe is he getting worse? why this happened. Robin looked at the results. Yeah, and she didn't see any reason to admit me at that time. She said what was going on in my head could fix itself. She went over everything with me, and I'm sure she went over the possible outcomes with you. She did. She said that there was swelling on the brain. Right. I mean, come on. Is he going to need surgery? I'm going to have to go over all the test results. You guys wait here. I'll be back. This, no, 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 this, no, it's not, Jason. It's not anything serious. Are you kidding? You might have strained yourself trying to open the terrace no, doors. No, I didn't. No? Well, you didn't fall anywhere near the door. So, what? Maybe maybe you went outside. It's freezing outside. Maybe you got cold. I, I, I don't know. You don't know? So you have absolutely no memory of going in or out. Well, I, I might have been outside. I just, I, I don't know. I went over your test results and I consulted with a specialist. And? Your condition isn't going away. It's getting worse. The test results from a couple months ago show no indication of the swelling, which means it happened be between then and now. Okay, well, what caused it? There's no way to tell, but it shows that it's been building since the surgery. Well, I, I don't want another operation. There won't be another operation, Jason. So Robin was right that it's just going to take care of itself. Don't need surgery because your condition is inoperable. 